some common diseases malaria yet another disease known since ancient times almost from the 5th century BC is malaria the word malaria means bad air as it was believed that it is caused by bad air Laverin discovered the malarial parasite in 1880 Mason in the year 1894 predicted that mosquitoes might transmit malaria so Ronald Ross in 1897 confirmed that mosquitoes transmit the disease malaria is caused by a protozoa parasite called plasmodium there are four distinct species of plasmodium p vivax p falciparum p malaria and p oval the malarial parasite spends its life in two hosts man and the female anopheles mosquito the mosquito is a primary host while man is a secondary or intermediate host only female mosquitoes bite man and feed on blood while male mosquitoes feed on plant juices when an infected female anopheles mosquito bites a man the parasite enters his blood at this point the parasite is at a stage of its life history called sporozoite after spending around 30 minutes in the blood the sporozoites enter the liver cells feed on the contents of the liver cell and fill the entire cell this stage is known as cryptoschizont stage schizonts reproduce asexually to produce daughter cells called cryptomerozoites this part of the life cycle is called asexual cycle the liver cell ruptures and the merozoites are released into the blood as these changes occur in the liver cells this stage is called the pre erythrocytic cycle and lasts for 7 to 17 days the parasite is not seen in the blood during this period some merozoites invade new liver cells and proliferate further while the others enter the red blood cell ending the cycle once inside the red blood cell the parasite feeds on the contents of the red blood cell and grows in size when fully grown it occupies all the inner space of the red blood cell and is called a schizont the schizonts divide repeatedly to produce 6 to 24 merozoites The red blood cell ruptures and releases the merozoites into the blood. The merozoites attack new red blood cells again and proliferate further. This phase of the cycle is called erythrocytic cycle as it occurs in the red blood cell or erythrocyte. The rupturing of the red blood cell and the release of the parasite into the blood is associated with chills and fever. known as malarial fever after a few generations some of the merozoites develop into gametocytes in the red blood cells the gametocytes are of two types macrogametocytes and microgametocytes when the mosquito sucks blood the gametocytes enter its digestive system and migrate to the walls of the system to undergo for the development macrogametocyte develops into a macrogamete which is equivalent to an unfertilized ovum the microgametocyte divides further and gives rise to microgametes which are equivalent to sperm these two gametes fuse to give rise to a zygote which migrates to the outer layers of the wall It grows in size and divides to produce a large number of sporozoites. This is called sexual cycle as the parasite proliferates by sexual reproduction. The sporozoites 
migrate to the salivary glands of the mosquito and reside in the tubules. When the infected mosquito bites, the sporozoites enter the human body along with the saliva of the mosquito. Incubation time is different for different species of Plasmodium. Malaria starts with a sensation of extreme cold. The patient wants to be covered with heavy blankets. This is followed by fever which may be as high as 106 degrees Fahrenheit. This stage may be seen for a period of two to six hours during which there is severe headache and body pains. The next stage is the sweating stage during which there is profuse sweating. These occur once in two three days regularly when the merozoites are released by the rupture of red blood cells. In children the parasite may enter and block the capillaries supplying blood to the brain. This may result into hemorrhage that is the rupturing of blood vessel and leaking of blood. The child may become unconscious or may even die. Those who survive may have disorders of the nervous system. Malaria is treated with a drug called quinine. The parasite has developed resistance to quinine. Hence, new drugs are being tested for treating malaria. The best way to control malaria is avoiding the infection, which can be done by controlling the mosquito population and by using mosquito nets. Recognizing the problems caused by malaria, the government of India started a national malaria control program, the chief aim of which is to eradicate malaria in India. Truth be told, such common diseases have always been enemies of mankind. Let us hope that we can at least keep fighting them as long as we can, if not win against them.